Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, dudes, to another episode of A Hermit. Why am I invisible? Okay, hold on. Hermit Disguise. Do we have the emotes? No, we don't have the emotes in this. On my, in my Minecraft 2.0 mod pack that I'm playing the Iskas Island on and hosting a server uh, for my Patreons with, um, <clears throat> that just started last week. Hi, if you want to join, you'd be welcome to. Uh, on in that mod pack, there are emotes from Quark, and it's just so funny uh, to to use them um, instead of instead of proper communication. Can you imagine just a full Minecraft server where you can't chat or anything? The only thing you can do is use emotes. Ah, oh, that'd be hilarious. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Hermit's Guys. I hope everybody are doing fan freaking tastic today. Um, <clears throat> I'm doing great. I'm doing great myself. I'm uh, clearing up the old base area a little bit more. And I don't even know if we will have space for all of this garbage in our... I think I'm going to move these two chests, actually. Uh, because, well... When you have an AA system, it's always good to have everything in an AA system. I don't think we have enough space for it, though. The 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 reasoning with this uh, with this setup was that my tools and stuff would be in one of these. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I want to wanna try and get rid of uh, as much as possible down here anyway. Starting with this thing here. Uh, this little, this little uh, island <laughs> shortcut, whatever, whatever you may call it. Of course, dudes, if you guys are still enjoying Hermit Skies, make sure to uh, hit the like button down below. And also, uh, of course, uh, leave me some feedback down below in the comments. Um, if there's anything you want to see changing or whatever. This here... It's a little bit of an interesting uh, thing that we got to deal with. Also, we got to deal with food. You know what? Today should be... Uh, today we shall Today we shall deal with food. Because I haven't had food for a while. Um, what were we even eating before? Because we haven't had food issues. <laughs> and then I made this apple juice. I can't remember now. Oh, crap. Can Please. Yeah, this here is going to be a little bit of an issue. Because we have the nature core parked underneath here. You can see how quickly it grows the... Or places the supplies here um and i don't know I, I i did some research you can't actually get rid of uh, nature core so nature course uh, so that's going to be a little bit of an issue there's no way according to the wiki a wiki that you can uh, remove it unless you like cheese it with like the old dark oak trick but that's not possible in, in 1.10 so i'm not sure how we're gonna get rid of it i've tried a block breaker i've tried uh, uh pistons it doesn't work so, I, I honestly don't know. And right now, my plan is to sort of just... <laughs> sort of just leave it. Um, where it is, I suppose. Leave it right there and remove everything else. I think if... Oh, we have two of them here as well. Three of them? Why did I plant so many? Yeah, I got an idea of... Uh, if there's no dirt next to them, they shouldn't really do anything. They're still annoying, though. Like... Oh, yeah, they will do stuff. They will be placing... Uh, they are useful... But because you can't break them, they're kind of they're kind of annoying as well. We had some more of these storage drawers here that we have to move. The obsidian one and I'm gonna move this uh octuple compressed cobblestone or whatever it is inside and just break these. And I'm kind of curious to see if we hook it up to our system. This uh this guy here. If we hook it up to our system, I'm what what is oh wow. I'm lagging something crazy, but I think it's my side. I think it's my internet acting up today. <laughs> but yeah, I'm curious to see how much uh, cobblestone stuff do we have. By the way, guys, have you ever woken up and you have like a blister on your tongue? I have a hooray. Really, it's so annoying. So annoying. 350 of something. Uh, I want to see what that is. Let's, um, let's see. Yeah, so I can't speak correctly. It's like... Uh, on the <laughs> yeah, that sounds disgusting, I know, but... Um, 350 of sextuple compressed cobblestone. That's pretty crazy. Wonder if, uh, can we do anything with these? Or are they required for anything? They ain't. They are not requ required. Okay, what about, um, yeah, what about the, what about this? No, none of these seems to be any uses for anything. Oh, yeah, the deep dark, which we've already done. So I'm not sure if, like, uh, if we're gonna need it, but I'm gonna store it there. It it's fun to have. Uh, it's hidden as well, so it doesn't really matter. I thought uh, to start off today's episode. I'm not really sure. There are so many different things that I want to get done, um, and that's why we're having so many of these episodes now. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm really, really enjoying the pack. 
and uh, I just can't play stopping at the mo uh, stop playing at the moment. The other hermit wants to play some mini games with me, so we are definitely going to do like the toilet game and hermit skates and try and catch up with all the mini games that have been played by the others. I'm excited about that. We're not going to do that today though. Today it's just me. Oh, I can take this down. But um, I was thinking that we should try and get uh, take a look at this quest chain to to begin with today. The dank is null. I don't actually know what it is. Let me just uh, take this uh, screen reactor down. This is something I may want to race again, but um, yeah, we need a we need a yellow right income. I have an idea. I think I I always go without uh, without doing quarries in my series because uh, it's just boring to do a quarries. It's like automatically income. You may just as well play in creative in a way. Well, not really, but you know what I mean. But I think in this pack, because it's a sky block and because I it's about beating the pack, I think I'm gonna actually go against my no quarry rule and and uh, try and get to a quarry at some point. Maybe today, maybe next time, I don't know. But first, let's try to check these out. I don't actually know what these are. Dank, null. This is from password things, okay. Uh, aluminum and redstone. Which is... Oh, okay, this is pretty expensive stuff. We actually need quite a bit of carbon here. So we need eight of these to create one panel. And we need five panels to create the block, okay. And then we need to... Oh, wow, okay. So basically, we're gonna need a crap ton of redstone, a crap ton of carbon. Just look at that. It's that's that's insane, dudes. Uh, okay, I may be able to make the first one. It's gonna be a little bit of a grind to get there, but I don't think we're gonna be able to make all of them. I thought it was fairly simple. The only way to get these into ingot shapes, by the way, is by using a tinker smeltery. So it's a little bit slow, but uh, <clears throat> that's the only way you can do it. You know what we need, guys? We need... So my idea is to... On this island, we only have the workshop and some aesthetic stuff, right? Um, and then we're gonna create other islands branching off from this one. We need a processing island. We need a processing island where I can put up things like an automated carbon machine. Where we take our carbon and it automatically turns it into ingot, for example. There was something else I was thinking about earlier today as well that I would need like... Yeah, like a glass. If, if we make this glass factory, it needs to be on that island. Stuff like that, because right now, I would like to just automate this, but I don't know if I want to place it on this island, or I don't really want to place it on that. 32 carbon ingots is what I got out of that, and we need 8 times 3, whatever that is, <laughs> 16, 24. Yeah, we need 24 uh, of these, right? Crap. So, no, wait, no, wait, we only need 8 of these. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. And then we take that and we take redstone and surround it. Boom. And that will give us the redstone things. And that's just for one panel. Like, this is this is insane. A uh, null, null. That's only for one of these? And I need a red stained glass pane? Okay. Um. <laughs> oh my goodness. What is, what is even this thing? Like, is it just a trash can? Because that's what I'm... That's what I think it is. It feels very, very, very weird that it would be so expensive. But yeah, I, there's no way. There's no way I can make this thing. Uh, that's insanity. And that's the first make. The, dark, the, da the Dank Null is a spiritual successor and upgraded version of the Open Box Dev Null. Spiritual. <laughs> I like that. Okay, so we gotta think about this. How do we get carbon? Um, easily. Like, I think we get it from Wither Skeletons. Uh, so if we would make a wither skeleton farm, we could probably get it. Um, we always used to get it from the nether, so I don't know, nether. I don't have any of that carbon. But then we need to process it, and we need to process it in a tinker smeltery, I'm pretty sure. Let me see. That's what I said earlier, but I'm pretty sure. Voidifier. Voids items, fluids, RF, and forge energy. So why... Why wouldn't I just use this instead of the dev null? This is from the same mod. It's so weird. If we were to get the coal from loot bags, we definitely need a much better mob farm. Which is something we need anyway. This mob farm is kind of garbachio. Ooh, I got some artifact bags. Yeah, let's pop those. What do we get? Oh, wait. This is the mod pack where you just get crap in them. <laughs> for some reason. Get these old blue bags. I don't even know if you can get anything else from the artifact bags. And it doesn't make sense. Why would you like... it? This is to me like just opening uh, normal white loot bags. Even worse. These blue ones. Can we have a look at... No, we can't. 
I've decided that instead of uh, uh, thinking about the uh, production island today and the mob farm, what I think I want to do is try and we're gonna leave we're gonna leave this uh, for later. Hopefully, we can make it at the end of the episode if I can collect some carbon and stuff. But if we go down to energistic evolution, this is almost done. Like we're almost there. We need to get into the wireless crafting, and to do this, we're gonna need uh, an infinity booster card, a wireless crafting terminal, and a magnet card. Which I don't actually know. A magnet that automatically inserts items into the AE network. That's cool. I have no idea how that works. That's something that I've never played around with. But the infinity booster card is the thing that I want to start with here. We did this in the last Foolcraft episode I recorded. And um, this is so useful. So that's why I want to jump to it. It's going to be very useful going forward. We need this. And you can't really craft or you can't craft this at all. You need to... I think if it's the same as in Foolcraft, you need to kill the end dragon. But I can't remember if we killed the end dragon here already, you and I. I think we did, because we did go to the end. But I'm not sure. Uh, I didn't have any anyway, so I don't know if it's a 100% drop chance or whatever. But I'm going to try and um, uh, and spawn an ender dragon. And, and slay her and see if we get one. I'm not actually sure if I will be able to slay her. My armor is kind of crap. <laughs> it's Garbaggio. But before I can do that, before I can before I can spawn the end dragon, I need to create end crystals. And before I can create end crystals, I need to kill some ghasts so I can get some tear, tears. Hello, ghast. I think I have looting on this thing, right? I play so diff many different mod packs that I get like confused with myself where I am. <laughs> and I guess I guess you dudes <laughs> you dudes get equally confused. Ooh, I'll grab some carbon though if I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Three gas tears from one? Wow. Okay. This sword has looting on it. Looting three. Did this have looting? Uh, no. Okay. So I should I should try and kill them with my sword. Not a problem. And the crystal. I'm still burning here. I, I don't know why. I fell into lava and I'm still burning. Okay, we need four of those. Can I please stop burning? <laughs> like, what the crap? I don't even know if I'm really burning or if it's just bugged out or something. <laughs> it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. Like I said, I can't remember if we killed the end dragon. Uh, the armor is kind of an issue in this pack, isn't it? Because you can't, you can't really craft. Yeah, it's very tough to get to the, to the good stuff. I had to log out and in, by the way, to get rid of the fire. Oh, so if that happens to you, restart, restart. All right. Hopefully, we can do this. Like again, um. I'm not very confident in this. Our armor is very garbage. We're like a two hit. I should also grab one more thing. I keep forgetting here. Let's also grab some bottles in case we need to grab some dragon's a breath. Bottles. Uh, I don't have any. Oh, you can make it from witch hats. <laughs> That's funny. I also have got some golden apples from, uh, uh, from something. So I'm going to bring them as well. Our battery is looking okay. All right, I think we're ready. I think we're ready for this. Like I said, I can't remember if we did kill this dragon in this pack or if we didn't. I'm not sure. I know we went to the end though. I know we went in here. Someone is doing something with this thing. Uh, hopefully I don't, I don't destroy anything here. <laughs> what? Someone has been, been, been doing weird stuff. Witchcraft, I say. Witchcraft. Oh, that's so loud. Oh! Maybe someone has actually made a, an end dragon murderer. Look at this. Oh, hopefully I don't destroy it. It's like a fan there. There's a fan there. This is very inconsiderate, guys. You gotta tell us about this. Who's done this without saying anything? I need to kill a dragon. Yeah, look at that. It's getting instantly killed. That's funny. <laughs> So the, the dragon spawns inside that block or something and then gets stuck in the fans. Wow, that's cool. And it's dead. Okay, I, I'm stuck in this thing now. I need this heart. I need this uh, draconium heart stuff. Weird that they didn't make an item system for this. So maybe they did. Oh, there's an ender chest here? No. And it's an Izuma production. Okay, so we just... Yeah, the stuff we just sent to Zuma. <sighs> well, that's okay. All right, I should have disabled this thing first. Hmm. 
Hopefully I can get it out from his base. I don't know how. To the derp sorcerer. This might take you home of Izuma. Okay. I've never actually been here. Wow, this is this is pretty cool. Uh he's made a chisel and bit version of the mob skulls. That's cool. Looking good, Izuma. He's like saved the original little island. And Ooh, it's just so dark down here. Yeah, this is looking sweet, man. Good job. Where are my diamonds? Or I mean infinity boosters and stuff. Where? Where's his A system? Here? Infinity. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna say that one of these is ours and we can't actually access it. Can we hack his system somehow? Uh, he's, he's chunk protected it, maybe? I don't think it's actually claimed anything here. It's just the AE uh, protection system. Okay. So, let's hack Azuma. Can I now ac ac access it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Uh, and I also believe I, I owe, he owed me one of those and one of those. I don't know if it drops any dragon breaths, but I would assume it does. But this is definitely what he owes us, right? Dear Exuma, little Iskal went to kill the dragon. The dragon died in some sort of machine. Apparently one of the hermits, Izuma, has claimed the dragon killing for himself. And the items were sucked into his massive system. What a guy. So anyway, I decided to come here, hack your AI system and claim what is rightfully mine. <laughs> Hacker scal. Hacked. Alright. Perfect. We'll put that in there and hopefully he understands what to do. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, let's grab it. It's <laughs> we gotta make sure we gotta make sure that we are that we are showing him. Alright, now that we have the uh the stuff from the uh <laughs> from the uh from the dragon, I think we can uh, complete this quest. I've actually taken a break here. For a couple of hours, I got a phone call. I had to do some adulting stuff, so I'm not really sure where I <laughs> where I dropped where I left off. <laughs> got super frustrated. I wanted to complete this uh, this quest. We need a magnet card and a wireless crafting terminal. Okay, magnet card. This thing, like I said earlier, we're gonna we're gonna try this out. I don't know what this is, but um, yeah, good stuff. We can actually craft it. Where did I get the annihilation plane from? I must have gotten that from a quest. Um, but okay, we got the magnet card. Excited to try that out. And then we need the that updated, right? Yeah, we need the wireless crafting terminal. Crafting terminal. And this is where Yeah, okay. So we need we need to craft this stuff first. Alright. We should be able to do all this though, honestly. Uh just a little bit of a crafting back and forth. I think we have all the raw materials, which is good. And Boom. Wireless crafting terminal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna hook this guy up today as well. But let's claim the quest. Uh, what do we get here? Uh, another heart. Okay. We don't really need that. There are two more quests here. There's wireless networking and auto crafting. But auto crafting requires us to do a 64k crafting storage. Holy crap. We may not be able to do this uh, right now. Let's see what it takes. Molecular... I always like crafting these things are always a little bit bothersome because there are so many different components that you that you need constantly. Yeah, I think we're going to run out of the fluid stuff, honestly. Um, we could always make more, but eh, I don't know. Before we get to that, let's grab or let's make a wireless receiver. We're going to need one of these to use the thing that we just made. A uh, wireless receiver. And we're going to uh, have to hook that up to this thing here. Uh, access point thing. Boom. I don't know if we need a security terminal, the one that we hacked with the Zuma, uh, but we'll see. I think this thing takes a channel as well, so I'm just going to plop it down here. And that should, yeah, that uses a channel. Okay. Now, what we want to do is plop our infinity booster card, not in there. Okay, it's somewhere else we got to plop it. Uh, oops, server crash. Whoa. -oh. oh no, the server restarted. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just going to chill then. All right, the server is back up online. We need the uh, security terminal, right? The security, this thing. Oh, and we already crafted that for a quest. Okay, so I'm just gonna plonk this down on the back here as well. And I think that's our last channel for uh, for this. Okay, very fine. Now, how do I do this? I put that in there, that links it up. And does that work? Yeah, that works. <clears throat> then I put the infinity booster card there. Ah, yes. Okay. So now I should be able <laughs> I should be able to use this anywhere as long as it has power. This is so powerful. 
Ah, oh, and so nice. And this is also a crafting terminal, so I can actually craft wirelessly. In case you haven't done this to your AI system, I'm sure you knew about this. But, you know, you know, I want the best. It's cow, simply the best. Sorry. Uh, magnet card, a magnet that automatically inserts items into the AE network. Right click to set filter. Status active, white mode listing. Um, so I put that here. And okay, so if I whitelist, let me let me try this. If I whitelist cobblestone, like say that I would never want cobblestone in my inventory, and then I put that in there. What? Hello? Status active. Filtered items only works when in wireless crafting terminal slot. That's where it is, though. Oh, I can access it from here. Okay. Um. <clears throat> <laughs> That's a funny song. So it should suck the cobblestone from my inventory in. Am I? I'm confused. I'm very confused. Wait. Let me try. Let me try golden apple. Okay. Right. And then I put it back in there. It doesn't work. You guys will have to let me know. I'm sure there are people out there that knows uh, what that thing is. But there we go. We got our AE system fully, fully wireless. Very happy with that. We got a loot chest to open as well. Let's pop this bad boy. And a zombie charm. Okay, well, not very exciting. Not very excited at all about that. Pattern terminal. And the 64k crafting storage is the last thing we need. That's... Oh, we do have a 64 thing yet still. So, okay, we're going to be able to do this, I think. Yes. Yes, we got these from Quest, remember. They're so freaking powerful. Okay, so that should do it. Yeah, look at that. Just pouncing through the uh, these, these end game <laughs> A2 stuff. Wireless networking. Okay, maybe we can do that as well. Wireless networking. This is something that uh, you can use. Oh, wow, that's, uh, that's scary. Okay, this is something you can use. We have nothing. <laughs> we got nothing, dudes. This is something you can use, is what I'm trying to say. To link two networks together, I think. When I tried this out last time. Uh, but you can also do that by other measurements. So, uh, I'm not sure if I would ever use this. But we'll do it. Uh, we'll try and get there just because of the quest. Okay, so all I need to do that is the engineering processor. Which, uh, we have diamonds. Yes, we have engineering. Engineering. And then I need redstone. We're obviously going to automate everything. Everything that we need to... That we need to automate. Um, but for now, this uh, this works pretty well. So quick, this advanced inscriber. I love it. Boom. 10 engineering processors just like that. Are you crazy? Yes, I am. Wireless setup kit. Okay, and then we needed the other thing. The other thing that required uh, one more of these guys, first of all. And I think, I think we're actually out of Fluix now. Uh, oh, no, we got a little bit more. Okay, so <clears throat> what we should do here is make the... Uh, Upgraded Fluix. Uh, because that doubles it. So yeah, let's polarize this first. And then I'm gonna <clears throat> then I'm gonna make the pure stuff. And wireless connector. Uh-huh. Give me the quest. Give me give me. Give me give me. Uh I, I do have, excuse me. Okay, maybe I have to I put it in here. Oh, I had a wireless receiver that I'd already crafted. What an idiot I am. Okay, well, <laughs> now we have two. Claim the loot chest, and I think, yeah, look at that. That's 100%, well, it says 50, oh, that's just a zoom. 100% completion in energistic revolution. Wow, I'm happy about that. Happy about that, make another progression. All right, uh, we're probably never going to use that one and that, uh, yeah, that one we'll use, but this wireless setup stuff. Uh, however, the pattern terminal is something I want to use, and I just realized we're out of channels here, aren't we? Yes, we are. So we should probably, well... We don't really need the pattern terminal right now, but uh, <clears throat> we need to upgrade to a dense cable uh, next time we connect something up there. We probably want to set up the auto crafting here uh, pretty soon as well, but I feel like taking a little bit of a break from applied logistics now that we completed that. Let's see what we got in the loot chests. Draconic cores, dudes. Were these the ones where we got early? They were, that we made the generator from. Ooh, you know what we could use them for this time? Flux gate, fluid gate, a lot of stuff. Fusion crafting core. For example, we could use them for. I mean, they're not that expensive anymore because we can get draconium. Yeah. What about the grinder that's in this mod pack? Oh, what is this? 
Stabilized mob spawner. Contents saved. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we, we need these for things. So that's a really good reward. And Blacker Lodi. Ultra rare. I mean, we get them from mobs, right? So they're not super rare to us. But they're very good for Botania. Very, very good indeed. Now that we have some food, we can uh, deal with uh, the issue that we started the episode with. Get rid of our starting island. And I'm a little bit scared, actually. This thing here, now that I think about it, needs to kind of stay for now. Because I can't... I don't think I can move this. Uh, I mean, I can't, I can't rebind it. I can't remember. I'd love to... <gasps> no. Okay, it's still there. Ooh. No. Where did it go now? Whoa. -oh. oh, come on, dude. My dislocated... Okay. Did it... I got it. I got it. Whew. Okay. Yeah, this middle thing will probably have to stay so that I can teleport back and forth. But everything else can go. Why is there... Why is there an oak tree right there? What? And one of the things that uh, can go is the Tinker Smeltery. I don't think I have anything that's super expensive in here. But I'm also kind of poor, so I should really try and empty this with <laughs> real. For real. For a real. This uh, glass factory, though, we can take away. Ah, oh, that feels good. For some reason, that feels very good. We're not quite there. We gotta, we gotta remove this as well, but... We're heading in the right direction. Yes, we're heading the right... Don't freaking judge. I don't know why I said that. Next time, we'll probably have to spend on expanding the islands here. So look forward to that. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for today. I'm gonna put up this uh, Tinker's, Tinker's system. Our, our workshop tinker on this wall of camera. But um, yeah, apart from that, thank you so much for watching. Hope you dudes have enjoyed it. And uh, ooh, uh, you know what? You know what? It's down the bed. It's down. There we go. There's the bed. Hope you guys have enjoyed. And uh, hit the like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new. Have a fan freaking fantastic evening. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.